Hey everybody, it's your boy Jack here, and welcome to this uh, unboxing video. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to be unboxing this box, the Comic of the Month Club, for uh, February uh, 2018. I'm going to be unboxing this box. Um, uh, but before I do, I want to like say a couple of things. Uh, so firstly, pricing and information is linked down below in the comments or in the description. Feel free to comment about what you think about this video besides that as well. But yeah, besides that though, before we get started, I want to do a comic shout out to like my favorite comic from last month's box. Um, it was this comic here. Boom! X Factor issue, issue 96 came out in November of like the, in the 90s I think. Uh, this was a really great comic. I really liked it. I'm going to be doing a full comic spotlight on this comic along with that all the other comics that I need to do comic spotlights on because why not? Besides that though, that's what I'm doing in this vid. Uh, that's, I'll do a spotlight on this because this was my favorite comic. Let's dive in and unbox this box. So let's use our uh, dull blade here and cut open the box. Open it up because open it it up and let's let me show you what's in this box. So in this box you get like the bubble taped sleeve of all these comics, uh, the bubble wrap which I'm always popping. Besides that though as well, let's get these comics out of here. Uh, shit. So what you get in this box is you get like a bunch of different comics between 10 and 13. Those are my average of how many I get. Uh, you also get a newsletter telling you what's going on with this company. Uh, so this month's theme is love uh, because like Valentine's Day was in February and everything. Each bonus book will have something uh, right off uh, of your preferences. We're giving you more titles you love because it's love. Um, Besides that, they're trying to improve um, co complaint resolutions and everything. Um, besides that, though, uh, they're ha trying to have live comic sales on their Facebook page, which is just good as well. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, those are this month's improvements. Uh, so yeah, that's their uh, newsletter. That's what's in there. Uh, now we got all these comics here. I don't want to spoil them. But those are all the comics. Let's dive into the first one here. Here we go. Boom. Comic number one. Woohoo, what is this? This is the Roots Dudes Production Nexus Greatest Hits. Um, this is the uh, Special Collector's Edition. I've never heard of this comic. See, the Comic of the Month Club have kept on giving me these like random comics. But so one thing I'll say is that I like and I dislike about this company is to give me like these comics I've never heard of. So like, it, to be honest, it's some of my preferences. So um, I'm not loving it. Like I get last month's theme was like new and like everything that was new, but I don't love this just because I like it's not really my preferences. Um, but maybe the comic would be good. Uh, I'd have to see. Uh, let's dive into the next one here, comic number two. Boom! What's this one? Does it look interesting? Does it look cool? Woo! So it's a Teen Titans, it's a DC comic issue number 56, came out April 8th. Liking this, um, it's a Teen Titans comic. Uh, obviously Teen Titans, um, I like some DC comics just because the DC comics tend to have a lot. Um, less writing and it's a lot more visually dependent which I like um, along with that I like their stories because they're a lot more interesting and like a bit more grounded and like well explained um, compared to the Marvel comics I feel like DC comics have a lot better of an explanation of um, like the DC comics explain their stories better more consistently just in my opinion and that's why I like about them uh, but yeah that's comic number two Teen Titans yeah, boom. I like the cover. It's very, um, it's a recent comic too, or not recent, but it came out 10 years ago, which is crazy. So yeah, uh, let's dive into comic number three here. Boom! It's another Teen Titans comic. This is exciting. It's Teen Titans issue number 55, because we want to keep it in order here. 
came out March 08th. Uh, you've got Robin on there. It's the Great Divide to DC Comics. There you got Robin, I think, on that cover, unless it's another Robin person. I like this because, honestly, I like the Black family and, like, Batman, but I also like Robin. I like Robin as, like, the nice sidekick. And, like, I don't mind reading Teen Titans because, like, I grew up watching certain, like, t like animated TV series from the DC Comics. So, um... I like that. I, I, I think it's cool. This is something that's in my preferences, which I am giving a thumbs up for. Um, so yeah, I like that. Uh, next up, comic number four. This one right here. Boom. What is it? It's the Alpha Fight. It's a Marvel comic. Um... Interesting. It's the sixth. Um, it came out um, in August. It's issue number twenty-five. It's a Marvel comic. I've never heard of them, but it looks like you have like a bunch of different like superheroes there. I like the cover. It's simple, but I don't really love. I'm not loving the color scheme. Um, but I haven't really heard of Alpha Fight before. Uh, but what it looks from what it looks like, it's like a new sort of team of like superheroes or Avengers. But yeah, that's Alpha Fight, or Alpha, yeah, Alpha Flight, sorry, not Fight, Flight. Interesting, interesting. They even got the Canadian price at 65 cents, so like, gotta give the thumbs up there. So we got four comics down. Let's go to the next one here, boom! It's another Alpha Flight comic. Um... Once again, don't know, I think these will have to do something with Marvel and the Avengers, but I'm happy about this because it's a Marvel comic. You get to learn a bit more about that. Um, I got to learn a bit about like, some of the superheroes and stuff. It's Alpha Flight, Meet Pink Pearl, such a nice lady. You got the um, large woman in there fighting the other woman. Um, interesting cover. Once again, it's a simple, somewhat simple cover, which I don't mind. Um, I don't really know a lot about Alpha Flight, but um, it is a 1985 um, comic. Uh, uh, it's issue number 22, so it connects to the other one, which was 25. I, it's still priced at 65 cents US. has that 75 cents Canadian pricing, which is a good price. Uh, but yeah, those are two... That's um, that's two Alpha Flight comics. Um, I'm excited to read those because I actually like don't mind the cover. Let's dive into the next one here. Boom! What is it? Is it cool? Let me know what you think. Ooh! This is an older comic. It's the Tales from the Legion of Superheroes. Uh, this is... Um, it's not in the best condition, but it is baked and boarded, so like I can preserve it. Uh, besides that, though, as well, it is seventy-five cents uh, U.S., ninety-five cents Canadian, because you got to get that Canadian price. Came out uh, in January of eighty-five um, of nineteen eighty-five. This used to be an old public library book, because you can see the little stamp like right around here of like the, the said library. Uh, I know of, like, the Legions of Superheroes, and I think there's, like, the Legions of Supervillains in DC as well. So that's really cool. I like that. Um, but, yeah, uh, it is from some public library, but, yeah. So, uh, clock's going off. You're going to know what time it is, but whatever. Um... Clock going off, shout out to the clock. Let's dive into the next comic here. Boom! Does it look nice? It looks like it is the Tales from the Legion of Superheroes. Once again, uh, it, it came out December of 84, so it looks like they're connecting between each other. Um, I like this cover, there's a lot going on there. Uh, it is a DC comic. But I like it. I think it's cool. Yeah, like the executioner guy um, with like these blue people that aren't probably avatars just basing off of their skin color. Um, they're not really avatar people, but they're like, an, they're probably an alien elvish race or something just looking at like 
um, the elf ears and stuff that they have. Um, I like it. It's an older comic. Once again, I'm getting some older comics, which I actually don't mind. Like, especially DC2. And, like, I'm excited to see, like, how, like, the current DC comics that I'm reading versus the, like, older, like, um, 80s DC comics are. And how maybe the stories are different or anything. So, yeah. Uh, I have four more, uh, four more comics to go. Let's dive into the next one here. Boom! What is it? Can't read it, but um, ooh, I got Hawkman. Uh, it's issue number two. Uh, it came out June two thousand and two. It's a DC Comics. Um, I've never got a Hawkman, Hawkman comic, but I'm excited to read it. I really do like DC. Like, uh, um, I like this just because it's expanding my DC knowledge and everything. I know Hawkman a bit as a character, but I don't. I've never read any of his single issue comics or anything, so I'm excited about this. Um, awesome. I also I like the cover just because it's like it's sort of an artsy style. Like it's not like a comic book like cover very much. Like it's a lot more like it's supposed to look like a painting or something. So I like it. Thumbs up. So yeah, uh, we got three more now to go. Let's dive into, like, I don't even know what number now. But let's dive into this one. Boom. Looks like another Hawkman comic. Ooh. Gates of Hawkman in this. Ooh. It's a uh, Hawkman. Uh, uh, Hawkman, it came out November 94. It is priced at two seventy five Canadian, $8.95 US. Uh, it is a Hawkman comic. Eyes of the Hawk, part one of four, the lobes of L lobes Lever Schultz. I think that's the artist. Um, but yeah, ooh, it's issue number 14. I like this cover, you got Hawkman right here, and then up top here you got like the villain guy. I like this, this is a really cool cover. I like the color tones and everything. And they have a really good distance of perspective there. I'm excited to read this comic. Because it looks cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, another Hawkman comic. I'm excited. I'm liking these hot, like these new comics that I've gotten and stuff. So yeah. We got two more comics to go. Let's dive into the next one here. Boom! What is it? Is it cool? Is it awesome? Looks like a Justice League comic maybe? Who knows? I don't know at this point. It's like a Batman comic, maybe. Ooh. So it's Batman and the Outsiders. Uh, it is issue number 11 from DC Comics. It came out November 2008. You've got some really big DC people there. Or not really. I don't really, I don't really recognize them. But you know why? Because they're Outsiders. I don't recognize anybody on here, but they are standing on this like bat signal and stuff, and I'm liking that. I'm liking it. It's a cool cover. You also, it's cool too, because like their reflections on like the like where they're standing and stuff. There's like a Batman like shadow under it. That's really really cool. And like they're all sort of drawn differently. So how is that not cool? Sorry, I'll try to like show you. So like right there, you got like the Batman. Uh, you also have like a Batman, like I think here as well, like right under where they're all standing. So like, I think it's sort of like a metaphor that each one of them, in their own way, is like Batman. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm excited to read this comic though. Um, so yeah, now we're down to our last comic here, the last one of like the bunch of comics that I've gotten. I've gotten so many comics this. <laughs> This time around, I always forget about how many comics I get, but yeah. So let's dive into the last one here. Um, number like whatever, over 10. But yeah, boom. Ooh, it's an amazing Spider Man comic. You got Venom up there too, which I like because like they're obviously coming out with the Venom spin off movie. I like that because how can you not like Venom? Uh, but yeah, it's the amazing Spider Man. It is issue number 332. It's a dollar US. Dollar twenty-five Canadian, because you gotta get that Canadian pricing in there, people. Uh, it, um, Venom is back, obviously, as you can see on the cover. Uh, uh, Venom's back. <laughs> He's gonna kiss your Aunt May goodbye, <laughs> Spider-Man. You are gonna die, as it says on the cover. 
I love this cover. I really do like Batman. This is something that I love having a Batman comic or a, a Spider-Man. Why am I saying Batman? Spider-Man comic. Um, <laughs> having this Spider-Man comic, you got like a huge villain um, there. Um, Venom, which I sort of honestly might want to get more into just with everything that's coming out soon and everything. I really like this comic. Uh, so yeah, you even got the UK pricing on there, which is even better at 60 pence. So yeah, those are all the comics in this box. Uh, overall, I'm really excited to uh, see about these comics, how they're going to turn out. The only thing I'll say about Comic of the Month Club, um, just like having them now for like a few months is they do provide really good comics and everything. The only thing I'll say is you should really, um, over the next, like you should definitely watch your preferences over like a two to three month period and see whether or not you like the comics and really change your, like watch and change, try to change your preferences to best fit yourself. For me personally, I've had this box for about four or five months now. And I just changed my preferences recently, so I'm excited to see how that will change and everything. So yeah, but I did get comics that I do like. I'm interested and excited to read these. Besides that, I'm going to be doing a um, a uh, a comic spotlight on this comic here. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't text and drive. Uh, read the comics that you bought and everything, because like they're good comics probably. Uh, besides that as well, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit post notifications if you want to know when I'm posting my stuff. Because um, I, I know I've been a bit erratic lately. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. You have a good night. Bye.